March rail fanning didn't have the greatest start, as my brother missed this Norfolk Southern Operation Lifesaver unit, which he only got a pretty bad photo of from far away. But on the way back, they managed to catch a glimpse of the CPKC mix freight, led by an SD70 ACU and Jivo, both still in CP paint, with a KCS Ace as a DPU. On March 10th, we headed out to the depot because Pennsylvania 8102, an NS Heritage unit, had just passed through Elkhart. Little did we know, it had already passed through the depot 15 minutes before we arrived because I was a complete idiot and didn't account for the time change between Elkhart and Laporte. As you can probably hear in the background of this video, the wind definitely existed on this day. Despite not catching the unit we went out for, there was still lots of things to see. First was a Norfolk Southern Mix Freight with an Ace leading and a WFRX SD70 Mac in second, an all EMD Lasha. But as the train was leaving, this happened. Did you get it? Yep, that's a UP AC 6000 CW and CSX AC 44 passing on a UP oil train. CSX engines are incredibly rare at the depot and AC 6000s are relatively rare as well. This sucked. Now that there's no horns at the depot, we couldn't tell this eastbound was coming until it was right in front of our faces. And once that train passed, we got back in the car to shield from the wind, and then we got out because the signal turned green. We looked west, didn't see anything, looked back at the signal, and oh, surprise, eastbound! Unfortunately, there was nothing good in it, just two Jeevos and two AC-44s. Then, that westbound came, and I was quite surprised it wasn't the Pennsylvania unit. Kidding! Oh! Despite that, this lash-up was great. The leader was a very fresh-looking Dash 9. Wonder how many of these are around. The second was an SD70M-2, and the last engine was another WFRX SD70 Mac. Funnily enough, the only engine on this train with AC traction is the Mac. Just shows how far behind Norfolk Southern was in the 90s. And just when we thought this day couldn't get any crazier, this 
happened. A mixed freight rolled by with an NS Ace leading, AC44 in second, Dash 9 in third, G1 fourth, XCEFX AC44 in fifth, and in sixth was an SD70 ACC, an SD70 rebuild. A power move on the front of this mixed freight. Speaking of power moves, the very next day on March 11th, my dad caught this train with four NS Jeevos, a BNSF Jeevo, and an NS AC44 leading an intermodal. And then on March 13th, a train rolled through our backyard, led by everyone's favorite stalker, CSS 2010. If you haven't heard about my debacle with this unit, I've caught it way too many times, more than any other South Shore unit. I swear it won't leave me alone. I haven't seen a South Shore train in at least a year and a half that didn't have this jerk on it. On March 16th, I woke up to the delightful sight of CSX 1776 leading the Coke Express rolling westbound through Delsler, Ohio. Immediately, we got into the car and hightailed it to Wellsboro. But as we were coming in, a CSX mixed freight rolled through the diamond with two Jeevos, an AC44, and a Jeep in tow. Once I got situated for the what I expected to be long wait for 1776, a fellow rail fan showed up, and he had ATCS, which was super helpful. He alerted us of a CN train heading southbound on the CN line, of course. The train was a Jeevo leading and an Illinois Central slash CN dash nine and second. Too bad I didn't notice till I was already panning on the Jeevo. If you're wondering why I was panning in that shot, I was testing out panning with my tripod as well as panning without a tripod. I concluded that panning without a tripod looked better. Anyways, right after I did that, some lights appeared in the distance for a CSX train. And sure enough, it was the Coke Express, led by 1776, the spirit of our armed forces, and trailing was another CSX Jeevo.
Any ordinary Wellsboro trip would have ended there, but the guy with ATCS told me that a Via Rail Canada new venture train set led by a soon-to-be-retired UPSD-70M was coming through. This was cool, and I knew I had to stick around for it. And thankfully, I did, because the trains that came before were pretty crazy, too. First was a CSX Intermodal. There was a Jeevo leading and a YN2 AC44 in second. And at the end was another CSX Jeevo. But things only got better. As the CSX DPU rolled off into the distance, we heard the sound of another horn, and sure enough, a BNSF intermodal rolled through, with two Jeevos sandwiching an ace. Pretty boring lash up, but I did get a horn salute, and this is the first time I've ever seen BNSF at Wellsboro. <laughs> Unfortunately for me, there were two CN westbounds blocking the line in front of the Via set. But fortunately for me, when they showed up, they certainly weren't boring. The first one was a mixed freight, with two CN SD70M-2s at the front, and a UPAC6000CW rebuild last in the lash-up. Not to mention, there were some Boston and Maine hoppers in the consist. No idea how rare those are, but I've never seen them before, so I'm gonna assume they're rare. Then, as if to hold up things even more, a CSX intermodal came on the CSX line. And the power was boring, with two Jeevos and an AC-44. Ugh. And then another CSX train came, except this one was actually interesting. It was the counterpart to 1776's train. 
the opposite direction eastbound Coke Express, and now it was empty. Because of that, they only needed a single engine. And thankfully, they chose one of CSX's awesome looking new SD70 Mace rebuilds. To our delight, once that train cleared, we looked down the CN line, and sure enough, there was the Via set. Well, at least until... It stopped! <laughs> Are you kidding? Really? It stopped! It's green. Okay, let's get that startup sequence. The train roared into life as this relic of a bygone era hauled the future through Wellsboro. And even driving home, we caught something rare, as a CN Zebra Stripe GP40-2W was stopped at the Kingsbury Locker Plant and Grain Elevator. On March 18th, on my ride home from school, a South Shore train stopped us at a crossing, with I don't even have to tell you who leading, CSS 2006, a military sticker unit in second, and an FURX leaser in third. On March 19th, the next day, my mom caught a CN mixed freight at a crossing with a CN Jeevo leading and UP AC44 in second. On March 28th, my aunt was at a railroad crossing and caught this Norfolk Southern Intermodal with an AC44 leading and ace in second, passing by another Norfolk Southern Intermodal with a BNSF-9 leading and a Norfolk Southern Jeevo behind it. On March 29th, we headed to Wellsboro again, except this time I'm not going to tell you what I went there for, just to keep things interesting. But things were still interesting despite that because the first train was a westbound CSX Autorack train with a YN2 AC44 leading. Finally! Oh, and the second unit was a, another AC44, but in YN3. I decided to film this train in slow motion. So, uh, there you go. Along with the normal speed replay.
But then another train. We saw the flashing ditch lights and thought immediately CSX. But no, it was Norfolk Southern with an AC 44 C6M leading and Jeevo in second. Okay, I don't know why that's here because the Chicago line exists. But hey, at least I got a perfect meet with the end of the other train. Unfortunately, that Norfolk Southern train was the start of an onslaught of eastbounds, holding up the westbound I was trying to catch. The first one was a CSX intermodal with two Jeevos and an SD70 Mace in the lash up. Interestingly, the Mace has a boxcar logo on it. I've never seen that before. Is that rare? Someone let me know. The next eastbound was a CSX oil train. There was just two Jeevos in the lash up, and I, you know, I don't normally say this for Jeevos, but man, that lead engine needs a repaint ASAP. And the final eastbound was a CSX mixed freight with two Jeevos, one at the front and one in the middle as a DPU. Eastbound, as you can probably tell by my narration in the current video. But, uh, I need a westbound. After I took that video, more rail fans showed up. I knew the train must be close to Wellsboro now. And those rumors were confirmed when headlights appeared in the distance. The headlights of a BNSF grain train with a Jeevo leading and two aces behind them. The first one is a Montana Rail Link unit, 4306. And the second one is a Thunder Cab.
And that was the final train I caught in March. This month has been my best month rail fanning so far, and I'm hoping April will be even better. Thanks for watching, and make sure to come back for another vlog just like this one.